Touching a player is not a one-person game. We all know he's been lying to everybody. Together with my relationship coaches, you have to say, I'm going to step up and do what's right. And stealthy investigation team, we won't stop until we find the truth. They think they slick. Well, we slick. That is a clip from Caught in the Act, Unfaithful, season two of the reality series premieres tonight on MTV. It's hosted by Tammy Roman and features a team of experts, relationship experts, including our very next guest, who's right behind me. Together, they help suspicious partners catch suspected cheaters. Ken Canyon, a.k.a. Coach Ken, is a certified relationship and personal development coach. He joins us to talk all about the series and weigh in on some of this Hollywood drama and hot dating and relationship stories that are cycling through all the tabloids coach Ken first of all I watched the trailer welcome to live lunch hour thank you for joining us I'm glad to be here thank you so much for having me let's talk about the series first talk to me about what we can expect because I saw that and I feel bad for some of these partners who are just so vulnerable and hurt by their cheating partners yeah and so what you can expect to see is just what you just what you might think um, there's going to be betrayal there's going to be sadness there's going to be some kind of rejuvenation and part of it as well, um, some some restoration as well. So you're gonna you're gonna see the gamut of everything, uh, uh, the the spectrum of emotions. Here's a question: How do you know when someone? What would you say for our our friends and viewers out there watching? deserves a second chance versus when it's time to walk away because I think that's a really heavy topic that people mm. kind of go back and forth with their turn they love this person maybe they're invested with children financially when is it time to cut ties so that's a very good question and you got to think about it um, and it's not a linear question it's one of those questions that there are several factors number one when you want to reconcile after betrayal both parties have to be willing to and what I mean by they have to be willing to, they have to be willing to do everything that is necessary to reconcile. And the person who's been cheated on, because they're going through almost the cycle of grief, this betrayal that's happening, the other person has to say that no matter what is required, I'm committed to going through this process. That's the first step. The second step is, is that the person has to be truly repentant in terms of, I'm done with that behavior. That's easier said than done because a lot of times people do things because they get caught in the moment. People do things because, oh, I got found out, and not because they're really ready to let it go. So there are a couple of factors involved in what needs to happen in, terminating, in, to, in determining whether or not we should reconcile or get back together. Well, let's go ahead and use what's happening right now with Kiki Palmer, for example, and the father of her children and Jonah Hill playing out on social media as an example, because it yes. seems like social media and oversharing is really ruining what could be or could have been good relationships. Let's start with Kiki Palmer. What do you think about how everything played out so publicly and how can we avoid something like that, you know, for people that maybe aren't famous? So here's, here's my take on that. I have a different take um, than a lot of people. A lot of my clients come to me and I say, I say the truth of the matter is, is, is what people do. Here's the mistake they make. They use four words to describe everything. Something is good or bad, or something is right or wrong. Mm. When I'm coaching people, I never use that to those terms. I only use two terms. Is it working or not working? Because what's right for you may be wrong for me. Now, in this case about Kiki Palmer, here's the deal. Was he right to feel what he felt? Absolutely. Was she right to go out and have fun? Absolutely. Okay, because that's what they wanted to do. Now, the problem is, is does it work for the relationship? Mm. And so if it doesn't work for the relationship and what people get caught up on both sides of this thing, and if it doesn't, if what works for that relationship may not work for another relationship. Here's what I think happened in that case. He was right to feel what he felt. The problem is, is when he brought 13, other, 13 million other people in it. Mm. When he said it and exposed it outwardly, his expressions, well, what he did was made it fair game that everybody could comment on it. Was she right to feel, look, I've had this mommy makeover, I'm feeling good about myself, to get out and do that? Okay, fine. But if he wanted to discuss that, he should have discussed it privately if he didn't want everybody to be in it publicly. 
Ken, let me ask you a real quick question. You know, when sure. it comes to relationships, sometimes people want to stay because it's been so long. It's been two years. I have kids. Do you think that's like a self-guilt that you put so much time into something that you should stay? We see it all the time. How many times, how many times do people stay on a job? I've been here so long. I've got so much invested in it. And what they do is they... See, everybody tells themselves a story. And the story is the this thing we do to rationalize our behavior. So if a person tells themselves, if they condition themselves that, you know what, I've got too much in to leave this situation, then their behavior will reflect that. Then the only way you change is you begin questioning beliefs that you've had. I always tell my, my clients and all the people that I've helped, I say, listen, we all have limiting beliefs. These are beliefs that prevent us from obtaining something we desire. Mm. And if you're not willing to question that belief that you have, you're not willing to change it. And so we won't change it until we say, we question it and say, you know, why am I staying? What, what does it get me? Because people do things because they get something out of it. At the end of the day, people cheat because there's a payoff for them. Oh. Uh, people stay because there's a payoff. And if we don't get to the emotional benefit of everything we do, then we can't solve the problems. Listen, Ken, unfortunately, we got to wrap it up, but I could think of a million more questions to ask you. So come to D.C., <laughs> come online, lunch hour. We'll feed you a delicious yes, lunch. We'll I'd get love, you some good drinks. Y'all feed me. We'll feed you. <laughs> And we're counting okay, on you I'm to help coming. us. All right, I'm coming. Thank you so much. All right, Ken. And just a reminder, you can watch season two premiere of Caught in the Act on Faithful tonight on MTV. We just had all of Ken's information up if you want to connect with him because he is, I think he's got a real solid approach to relationship yes. and dating. Great.